Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, it's going to be a bit different and I wanted to talk about how my foreign partner has affected my life as a Filipina. So I know that many of you are in a similar interracial relationships and I just wanted to share my perspective on what it's been like for me. So to start off, I wanted to share my experience before I met my husband and maybe some of you all know about it but I actually met a Russian guy before while I was still studying and he saw me at the meat and fish market when I was there with my mom and dad at that time and at first he was just trawling around with his dad looking at different stuff I thought to myself like oh he was just strolling around trying to buy something but I was wrong so when we were about to go home I saw in my dad's rear view mirror that he was following us and of course I thought it was just nothing because maybe he lives the same way as I do right so until we reach my house there's this small road that we take since there was not a normal road at that time going to my place and I just realized that they were behind us and I told my mom about it and at that time my mama was also confused then he stopped his motorcycle and approached me my mom at the time was so protective of me since she wanted me to focus on my studies and that time as well, I started having a crush on my church mate who happened to be a foreign kid. And aside from that, I saw a lot of my neighbors who happened to have a foreign partner and it seemed like they were very happy with each other. So I already had it ingrained in my mind that one day, <laughs> I'm going to have a foreign partner of my own and live happily ever after. <laughs> but anyways, he approached me and at that time he was wearing a boxer and not the normal shorts that you guys wear. So I was a bit shocked because of course there are also neighbors watching us at the time but he did not mind and that he kept on approaching me and then he talked to me in English and at that time I didn't understand him very well because he was talking in broken English then he asked for my number and I gave it to him of course I mean I was kind of naive at the time but yeah I, I still gave him my number and we texted back and forth trying to have a conversation and at the time his English was not so good so most of the time I ended up teaching him English and several weeks passed and most of the time he would go to my, my place and sit there where we would talk for several hours and mind you all my parents are just in the kitchen and they're listening to us you know making sure that we will not do anything unusual and for the most part I was teaching him English words and stuff and he was also courting me and my family at that time then I was kind of happy at that time because I really thought that I had already met my soulmate but yeah that continued for almost a month and <laughs> sad to say he ditched me but I was at school at that time and it was my school break and me and my best friends went to the boulevard to eat some street food and there I saw him walking and laughing with some other girl and and they were holding hands and walking towards me I thought that he saw me first but I was wrong I was kind of sad because what the hell <laughs> I really thought that he was the one but yeah 
when he saw me his face was so freaking hilarious like he was so shocked to see me and and he grabbed the girl and he started running the opposite way and and take note that that morning he drove me to school and <laughs> he wasn't a very good driver and um, you can tell that it was his first time driving a motorcycle but yeah after that I really thought that the men from the West were only coming to the Philippines for fun and not to date so when I worked at the restaurant owned by two foreigners it was not on my list to find a foreigner I mean don't get me wrong <laughs> there were a lot of old foreign guys and even young ones that wanted to pursue me but I think I was waiting for someone I think my heart was waiting for a person that I could be with then yeah I met my husband Paul and we've had a lot of ups and downs and through that our relationship got stronger and most of you know about it but long story short we got married <laughs> but I will tell you all about the impact that he has had on me ever since our relationship started so to start off I want to say that being in a relationship with someone from a different culture has been an eye-opening experience for me and I've learned so much from him and it's been a journey of growth and discovery one of the biggest changes that I've noticed is that I've become more open-minded because before I met Paul, I had a very limited view of the world. I mean, I didn't have the opportunity to experience different cultures and I was content with the way things were. However, my partner has introduced me to a whole new world and I've become more accepting of different beliefs and lifestyles and another way that my partner has impacted my life is that he's taught me a lot about communication because as you all know here in the Philippines we have a tendency to sugarcoat things and avoid conflict but he encouraged me to speak my mind and be honest about my feelings and of course it's been challenging at times but it's made our relationship stronger and I've become a better communicator because of it and lastly I want to talk about how he influenced my career aspirations because before I met him, I had a very traditional view of success. I mean, we all do. I wanted to finish school, find a stable job, and settle down. However, my partner has shown me that there are so many other forms of success or there are many other opportunities out there. and. He's encouraged me to pursue my passions and he's helped me see that success can come in many different forms. So in conclusion, being in an interracial relationship with my foreign partner has been an incredible experience. He's helped me grow and learn in so many ways and I am grateful for the positive impact that he has on my life and I'm so grateful for everything that he's brought into my life and I'm so excited to see where our future or our journey together takes us. So if you are in an interracial relationship, I encourage you to embrace the differences and learn from each other because it is a beautiful thing to be able to see the world through someone else's eyes. So thank you all for watching and I will see you all in the next video. Bye for now. Stay safe.